probably get like a letter in the mail for one of those guys next breaking when they just turned it so hard to look at this car. <laughs> Experience of its own to be able to drive a sports car just like this. With all that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into today's video. <laughs> So first things first, a sports car has to look good and that's why we went with the Lamborghini Huracan. It is such a clean and simple sports car build. The body lines are just immaculate. Almost everybody knows a Lamborghini. Like it, it stands out no matter where you go. Tie the Lamborghini Huracan with the Nero Nemesis matte black paint job that's on it and these 20 and 21 inch staggered Strauss wheels. This front end kind of looks like a shark. That's kind of the vibe that I get when I look at this. Red pinstriping on the front ties in these red brakes that the car was specced out with. We've got some red in these uh, Strauss wheel center caps here as those black wheels look so, so good. The exhaust, the carbon fiber deck lid, the 1016 carbon fiber wing, and then this back window kit here just really, really ties it off. This car is tuned. We are right about the 650 horsepower mark. This is the LP610-4, so it comes with right about 600 to 610 horsepower from the factory. And then we've got that tuned as well as this exhaust, which I'm gonna let you guys hear in just a little bit, but uh, RK tunes are who we're running on here. With all that being said, let's hop in the cockpit and see how this thing handles. You hit the unlock button on your Lamborghini key here, and you'll see right there, the doors are gonna actually pop out, the door handles. So that way you don't have to scratch the paint or touch it. That way you don't get your car dirty. Open that up, and then I'll hop inside and start it up for you. Alrighty guys, so now we're inside the car. We've got it all started up. It's warmed up, ready to go, but I wanna give you guys a walkthrough of everything inside. So we'll start right here with the center console. So right here, you've got your gauge cluster that will show up. Unless you switch to something like the AC, then it'll pop up here and tell you. So like we've got it on auto air right here. Turn that to 70, it'll automatically set the whole car to 70 degrees, kick on the heater, AC whenever you need to. You got seat heaters right here, windows right here. You push up to go down and then you pull down to put the windows up. So you've got windows on the outside here. Here we've got our front lifting system. So if we're gonna pull out of a parking lot or a driveway and we need the front of the car to come up, then we hold this, lift the car up so we have more clearance. Here is our traction control, our hazards. Turn those on, turn those off, one click, one click. Um, parking sensors, you can turn those off. And then this right here doesn't have a designated space. I'm, I'm assuming so you can wire in you know, something, something of your own. Um, up here, you've got your garage opener. You've got your lights on each side, and I'm actually not sure what this button here is for. Moving back down to here, you've got kind of like your Audi style radio system and um, your navigation for your gauge cluster. So you've got navigation, menu, phone, car, info. You can go back um, if you, you know, clicked on the wrong screen, and this is your dial to go through the settings on your gauge cluster. Um, here's the backup camera pulled up right now. Um, as you can see, it's not that great. Throw the car into reverse. Um, yeah, you can kind of see, like, even if I go back a little, it doesn't clear up. Like, and that's cleaned off. That's just the way that it is. Uh, you've got your sun visor here. Covers like half of your windshield, but is still just so tiny. Here you've got your sliding mirror with no light on there. Flip that back up. Um, you've got your rear view mirror here, just like in a normal car. And then this is really like the fighter jet style that I was talking about. So to throw the car into reverse, well, actually, so we'll start in park. So you hit the P for park, through, pull this up for reverse. You can hit this M for manual or automatic mode over here on the, oh, and then you've got your park brake right behind there. Uh, you can flip this up or you can put your hand, your finger fits right there. You can uh, start and stop the car. So you just push it once, stops the car, push it and it starts the car. Or you can flip this up, start, stop the car. Uh, moving on to the steering wheel over here, you've got these buttons to go through your menu on your gauges as well. You've got windshield wipers right here. You've got blinkers right here. So you hit to the left, almost like a, uh, on a motorcycle style. 
hit left or right, and then you push it down to turn it off. These are your brights right here, on, off. And then over here, I'll grab this from you. Over here, you've got your light switches, so like daytime running lights. Um, you pull it down, turn them off, pull it on. You can hit auto, you can get your lights on, your fog lights, uh, you know, the whole nine. Over here, you've got your mirror controllers so that you can adjust those. We do have the GoPro on the back so you guys can hear how it sounds from the outside. Lock and open here. And just real quick, let's admire those beautiful doors with the suede on them. Just so simple yet so elegant. Right here behind me, you can see that this is where your CD player is and you also have a slot for an SD card one or SD card two. And how can I forget on the steering wheel here, you've got Strata, Sport, and Corsa mode. So you can change through these depending on how aggressive style of driving you wanna do. And last but not least, right here, you do have your center console, which really you could fit like a debit or credit card and like three quarters in there, really not much. <laughs> um, you've got right here, you've got your 12 volt car plug. You also have one of those in the trunk up front as well. Um, yeah, that kind of wraps it up. So let's hop on the road and show you guys how this thing drives. So if you're in park and you want to throw it into drive, all you have to do is tap one of your side shifters here and you're in drive. The doors will lock automatically and you're good to go. You just let off the brake and you can start rolling. Alrighty guys, so driving this thing is incredible. Now, you do have your different modes of driving and for more aggressive and less aggressive driving styles. Now, what that really looks like is every bit of this car is independently controlled when we're talking about suspension, when we're talking about drivetrain, um, even down to like when you fill this thing up with gas, it has two gas tanks so that the gas evenly spreads out and drains at the same time. So that way your tank's not shifted to one side or the other, then putting a lot of weight on one side of the vehicle. That's, that's a big thumbs up to Lamborghini for thinking of stuff like that when designing a sports car. Now I know it's not the only sports car with that. On a track, this car would really, really stand out, but in the canyon, it just, it's unbeatable. Like there's not enough road to test the limits for this car. And I'm not just saying that. Like you can't open this car up to its full potential without being on a closed track. And we, we might we might test that one day. We, we might test that theory, but you guys get what I'm saying. There's really no way to unlock the full potential of this car. Like when you're accelerating, you, you, like, you feel like it should have shifted and then it just keeps going and it just keeps climbing, climbing, climbing. It's like the harder you smash the accelerator, like the more you accelerate, it's. It's one thing if a car can go almost 200 miles an hour. It's another thing if a car can stop from going 200 miles an hour. And these, these brakes are amazing. The super brakes were really good too. A little uh, hopping on the freeway action. So just real quick, something that uh, everybody loves about this Huracan is how comfortable and suitable it is for taller people. Now, I'm not like the tallest person, but I'm 6'2", and I still have at least a couple inches of headroom, and I'm not like sitting all the way back. If I sit all the way back, I have like, I gain maybe another inch or so of clearance, but uh, it's really comfortable. My knees aren't hitting the dash, so that's always a plus. And I mean, the biggest upside to the cockpit is we feel like we are in just like a, a warfighter jet. Like, especially when you take off and then it like thrusts you back in your seat and you feel just like a jet when it's taking off and just, ah. There's something just really exciting about driving an Italian sports car. More importantly, the Lamborghini Huracan LP610 4 Italian sports car. The dual clutch transmission 
driving the GTR is one thing. Driving the Lamborghini, what is it? Huracan? 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 The Italian Stallion is is a whole nother game. Like down shifting, you can skip two gears, not even feel it at all. It's crazy. It's just insane. Tied with that V10 can handle like 8,500 RPMs. I don't know. That's pretty sweet. Let's talk about how comfortable this car is to ride in. I talked about being able to fit in it a little bit earlier, but like the seats are comfortable. I could ride in this, this seat all day. The GTR seat was a little more tight, um, not near as comfortable. And I, I like that's, that's a deciding factor right there for me. Like, you've got to have comfort with the looks and performance. You can't just have, like, one or the other. So, um, yeah, the seats are really comfortable. Right now, we're cruising in seventh gear on the freeway at 70 miles an hour. And it's not, like, really, really loud in here. Uh, what I'm getting at is, like, you could almost daily drive a Lamborghini Huracan, I think. What do you think? Would you drive a Lamborghini Huracan every day to work? <laughs> Just everywhere you go, like everyone has their camera out. It's it's kind of fun. underpass for the freeway. Thank you. 